What's going on in Burnley Sports? Back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be going over my NFL Week 1 picks. As, of course, um, the NFL season is back on Thursday night with Thursday Night Football between the Dallas Cowboys and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from Tampa Bay as the defending Super Bowl champions taking on Dak Prescott as he is having his comeback game. Um, and we're going to start off right there Thursday night. Um, and I'm going to go with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win and to cover. I think they're going to win 34-23. to 23. I think Brady is going to pound that terrible Cowboy defense. I think it's really going to show bright and early how bad that defense really is. Um, I think Brady's going to really get to them. And I think the Cowboys will score a little bit, but nothing crazy. I think the Buccaneers defense is still one of the tops in the league. Um, so that is that first game on Thursday night. So I got Buccaneers 34, Cowboys 23. The next game is the Chargers and the Washington football team. And in this game, the Chargers are favored by one point, and I'm going to take them to win and to cover. I think they're going to win 24 to 20. I know it's a you know a lot of people rave about how good that uh, Washington football defense is, and I think they're very good. But I think Justin Herbert is going to be able to score more points than Ryan Fitzpatrick to win this game. The over/under is 44 and a half, and I actually have 44 points in this game, so um, really close um, right there, but. In the end, I think the Chargers, I think Herbert's going to, you know, he's going to get his uh, scores. He's going to, you know, he's still one of the better quarterbacks in the league, even going into his, into his second year. And I think he's going to be able to put enough points up on the Washington football team to be able to take home that week one win. So I got the Chargers 24, the Washington football team 20. In the next game between the Jaguars and the Texans, it's Trevor Lawrence's first career NFL game. And I'm going to pick him to win. Start off his career 1-0. and I think he's going to... Um, you know, put up some points against a terrible Texans defense. He's favored by th three points to win. I'm going to pick him to cover as well. I think that he's going to win at 27 to 20. Texans going with Tyrod Taylor at the starting quarterback spot. So I don't think it's anything crazy there. So um, I'm going to take Trevor Lawrence picking up a win at 27 to 20 in Houston against the Texans. In the next game between the Carolina Panthers and the New York Jets, great game here as, of course, it is Sam Darnold's um, first game against his former team, the New York Jets, and I'm going to pick Sam Darnold to win. I think both teams um, have improved this offseason for sure. I think the Jets, you know, they had a couple of good signings. Of course, Shaq Lawson went down, so one of them um, really didn't turn out to be much. But um, I think Zach Wilson's a good quarterback. I think he's going to put up some points, but I don't think he's going to be able to put up enough. I think the Panthers are going to win 30-24 to at home against the New York Jets. In the next one, I'm going to go with the San Francisco 49ers pounding the Detroit Lions. This is the biggest margin um, of victory I have in week one. I think they're going to win by 20 points, 33 to 13. Trey Lance, um, the projected starter, I think he's going to go uh, crazy. I think he's going to get his first career win. Um, and I think that it is a very good San Francisco 49er football team this season that is going to win a lot of football games. I really like them. I think they're going to win 33-13. to 13. In the next game from Indianapolis, I am going to pick the Seahawks to take the road win. A lot of people may see this as a surprise, um, because especially because um, you know this, this game was really juggling back and forth. Um, but as of right now, at the time I'm making the video, Seattle has our, our two-and-a-half-point favorites. I know yesterday... Um, it was a different story where the Colts were favored by two to three points. So it's really going back and forth. But I'm going to take the Seattle Seahawks 24 to 23. I like Russell Wilson, what he's going to be able to do. The Colts have, you know, good amount of injuries. So I'm going to pick Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks 24 to 23 in Indianapolis. In the next one between the Falcons and the Eagles, um, I talk about how bad the Eagles are and how bad they're going to be. Um, and I'm going to stick to that. I think the Falcons are going to win this game. I think it's going to be a close game. I think, it, you know, really it's a coin toss. I think any team can win. Um, I think it's going to be a good game um, between two teams that I don't really expect to do much. Um, I'm going to go with the Falcons, though, beating the Eagles 30-20. to 20. Um, You know, I think it's going to go the over. Uh, the over-under is 48 I think it's going to be over, and I think the Falcons cover and get the win at home to start off their season 1-0. Next game, Bills-Steelers. And a lot of people are going to think this is a surprise about how many points I'm, going to, I'm about to project. 
a lot of people think that there's not going to be very many points in this game because both defenses are pretty good. But I think Josh Allen, anytime he's in a football game, no matter the defense, he's going to put up a lot of points. And I think he's going to put up a ton of points against a Steeler defense that is, you know, there's a lot of injuries there. So I'm going to go with the Bills, 37 to 27. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game for both teams. But I think Josh Allen picks up the Week 1 win at home against the Pittsburgh Steelers. In the next game, we got the Minnesota Vikings heading to Cincinnati to take on the Bengals. Joe Burrow's back. Um, he's going to be back in this game, but I don't think it's going to change anything. I think uh, in the end, I think the Vikings take the win on the road, 27-23. I like the Bengals' um, offense. I think they have a very, very good offense. They have two explosive wide receivers, one of the best running backs in the league. I like um, their chances against this Bengals team. The spread is three. I'm going to pick them to cover and win by four points. In the next game between the Titans and the Cardinals, this is going to be one of the best games of the week in Tennessee. Um, and I'm going to pick the Titans. I think it's going to be a close game right to the end. But I'm going to go with Tennessee to win 31-27 over that good Cardinals team. Um, one you know area of concern for the Cardinals is that defense. The offense, you know, we all know what it is. They have one of the best uh, wide receivers in the league. They have you know top ten quarterback in Kyler Murray, but I just don't think it's enough. Uh, they're going to put up enough points um, to beat the Titans because of how bad their defense is. So I'm going to pick the Titans to win and cover at home, 31-27. Next game, I'm going to pick an upset: Dolphins Patriots to start off the four o'clock games. I'm going to go with the Dolphins on the road to beat Mac Jones and the Patriots 27 uh, to 23. I think Mac Jones is a tremendous quarterback. I just don't, you know, think he's quite ready yet. Um, I know he's at home. This was a tough one to pick. This was a tough game to, you know, pick the upset. Um, but I am going to go with the Dolphins on the road to beat the Patriots. I like Brian Flores, I like, um, you know, a lot of the things he does. It's going to be a great matchup, a great, you know, football mind uh, coaching matchup, Bill Belichick and Brian Flores. But I'm going to, in the end, ultimately go with the Miami Dolphins. I think Tua starts off his season 1-0 against a division rival on the road, 27-23. to Next one, Broncos-Giants. I'm not going to get too in-depth with this because, of course, most of my channel is surrounded by the New York Giants. Um, I'm just going to give a score. I'm not going to give too deep a, of an analysis because I'm going to have a separate video on that. I'm going to pick the Giants to upset the Broncos at home and win 17 to 13. Not a lot of points. I think it's gonna, the defense is going to really dominate on both sides. Lots of field goals and that. Um, but I'm going to pick the Giants 17 to 13 over the Broncos. Next one, Packers Saints. This is a very good game, um, and it is not in New Orleans, um, which is all, you know one of the toughest places in the NFL to play. So the home field advantage for the Saints really gets knocked away here. Uh, ja they're playing in Jacksonville, um, where the, tra uh, the Jaguars play, of course, because of the, you know all the stuff that's going on in New Orleans. They're not going to be able to play at home for a while. But I'm going to, either way, even if it were in New Orleans, I'm going to pick the Packers. I think Aaron Rodgers is still a top three quarterback in the league. And I think he's going to win this game 27 to 20. Um, against a good New Orleans defense. Final four o'clock game, arguably the best game of the week. Chiefs, Browns from Kansas City. I'm going to go with the Chiefs in this game, but I'm going to pick the Browns to cover. I think it's going to be a close game, lots of scoring, a shootout right to the end. Um, but I do like Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs to win 31-27 to over the Cleveland Browns. Um, I think, you know, there's just going to be a ton of offense in this game, you know, barely any turnovers. Um, and I like Kansas City probably to end up winning the Super Bowl this year. Um, Patrick Mahomes is just so explosive, and I'm going to pick him uh, to win this uh, playoff rematch. Um, should be a fantastic game, but I'm going to go with the Chiefs 31-27 to at home against the Browns. To the Sunday night game we go. Rams hosting the Bears from the beautiful SoFi Stadium where the Super Bowl is going to be held. In Inglewood, California, um, I'm going to take the Rams. They're uh, favored by 7.5 points. I'm going to pick the Bears to cover. I think it's going to be a pretty defensive game here. I think I'm going to pick. I'm going to go with 24 to 20. Um, got the Rams and Matthew Stafford starting off 1-0 uh, against the Bears. Um, I just think 
overall, I really, really like um, both teams' defense. So I'm not going to have a, a ton of points up on the board in this game. I think it's going to be a defensive domination in this game. Andy Dalton is going to turn the ball over a couple times. You might see a, a Matt Ryan, or sorry, a Matt Stafford turnover here and there because of how good that Bears defense is. So ultimately, going to be a tight game. Um, I'm going to pick the under by one. Um, the, the over under is 45. I'm going to go with 44, 24 to 20 Bears and the Bears, uh, sorry, Rams, but the Bears cover in this game. Final game, Monday Night Football. Baltimore Ravens going to Las Vegas to take on the Raiders. Um, they are four and a half point favorites, the, Ra the Ravens, and I'm going to pick them to cover and win um, 34 to 24. I think the Raiders are a, a decent team, but I don't think they're anything, you know, crazy. I think, you know, definitely um, not the best team in that division. In fact, I think they're probably the worst team in that division. Um, but, you know, Lamar Jackson is just a very, very good uh, quarterback. He's going to score a lot of points. That's why I got them putting up 34 to the Raiders, 24 in Vegas. That's all I got in this video, guys, for the picks. You guys let me know down below in the comment section your picks. What do you think about mine? Um, I'm going to have a ton of content through the season. This week, and I have a, you know quite a bit of videos, division, division by division predictions. Um, I'm going to have you know the division winners and the wild card picks. Um, so stay tuned for that video, um, as well as the preview video for the New York Giants and the Denver Broncos. Um, that's all I got in this video, guys. You guys, please leave comments down below in the comment section. Leave a like on the video, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'll see you guys all in the next video. Enjoy week one.